Here, I'm, I'm I got Danny. a letter. What's your name? Danny. Are you Danny? Yeah. Danny and Danny. Danny, Danny, no way. We we got three Dannys now, dude. Cliff. No, I'm Cliff. I'm Danny, you're Danny. He's Cliff. And I'm Cliff. Here on the corner of 9th and Brazos. Yes, how long how long you been in Austin, Danny? I've been here almost 31 years. What do you think of it? I love it. I, it's not as good as it used to be, but, uh, you know, it's still Austin. It's still cool. Uh, well, when I first came here, I just went, whoa, this is where I've got to be. I'm yeah. a musician, and I want to live here. You know, and it's, but it's changed since then. Tell me, some, tell me some stories about the good old days. Well, the good old days, uh, I, you know, got to open the, the show, you know, for some big name acts. But uh, well, where'd you grow up? I, I was born and raised in Texarkana. Okay, if this were Texas right here, and this were state line, I was born about... That building right there. Okay, the state line was... Get on it. With, okay. Ar with Arkansas. With Arkansas. Yeah. Okay. Why isn't it pronounced Arkansas? You can pronounce it any way you want to. Texarkana often is pronounced Texarkana. I'm going, what? <laughs> Texarkana. No, man, it takes Arkana. You know, anyway. Oh, is so it? this is oh, a good... Oh, it's, a, it's, a, uh, it, it's an Indian word. Oh. That's the reason Arkansas is pronounced that. Arkansas. That <laughs> so this is a good platform to rant and rave. What pisses you off? What are you real passionate what about, Dan? What pisses me off? I am physically disabled. And, uh, you know, I've, I, I've made a lot of money throughout the years and paid it all in to Social Security and everything like that. But getting some kind of disability, you know, compensation is impossible. You know, it's automatic denial. It's just like the, the rule. Automatic denial. First time you apply. You know. This is stupid. Man, you know, I mean, I've, I've paid in a whole lot of money. It's my money. What? Let me, I need some help here. What's your disability? Uh, first is uh, depression and anxiety. And then I've got this fracture in my hip right here. Uh, so it makes it very difficult for me to walk. And then the, uh, the veins that come into my uh, two femurs. Yeah. Okay, so you have physical and mental disability. Yes. Any day, you know, it's just... They don't give a damn about you. What they want you to do is croak. I think this is my personal opinion. They want you to croak. I mean, you know, because when you start the whole process, it takes two to three years. You know, what are you doing in the meantime? You know, I... I don't know how they expect you to live. It's fucked I up. I don't either. You ever been married? Yes. 21 years. Did you get divorced? Uh-huh. How did that go down? In what way? Like, what do you think caused the Yeah, what breakup? caused it? Um, irreconcilable differences was what it was billed as. Did you did you start drinking pretty heavily whenever you uh, whenever it became evident that you you had some uh, the anxiety disorder? The first time I drank, I was three years old. Three years old. So I always drank. And my, the, the woman that I ended up marrying, she knew I drank. Hell, I was a rock and roll musician. You know, I'm, I'm playing on 6th Street and up on Guadalupe. And, you know, this ain't no joke. Guitarist. Keys, sax, flute, bassoon, all kinds of crazy stuff, you know. Vocals, songwriter, you know. So what, what's your favorite drug if you had to pick one? The only thing I do is alcohol. I, I did, there was a, a long period of time being a musician where I, I smoked a lot of pot, but I, I pretty much just quit that yeah. altogether. Uh, primarily because I was trying to, you know, be reemployed, and you know, with pee testing and that kind of thing. I mean, and here's the other caveat to that. Uh, drinking, well, let's see. Let me say this, smoke pot 
and I will drink like a fish, you know. Um, and I can kind of, sort of, halfway control my drinking uh, if I don't smoke pot. Yeah, you know? barely, barely. If I really, you know, if I have enough money and stuff, I'm gonna give me a bottle of vodka, vodka. But man, it, you know, it, it can toast you and stuff. Uh, I can do okay on beer. Uh, lately, I've been drinking that damn Four Loco. It's uh, uh, you know, twelve percent wine. I guess you'd call it. I don't know what the hell it is, but. It's like a, it used to be an energy drink that had like liquor in it. I think from what I yeah, and caffeine. My, and all yeah, kinds my of brother, my brother stuff, loved that you know. stuff. Uh, lately, I've been liking that, you know. Yeah. But I, it's I, I can't I, most of the time I can't afford it. Yeah. You know? uh, so my cheap old version is I can get me a I can get me like a two eleven. Uh, Oh, the cold steel reserve. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Do you uh, do you have any kids, Danny? Have what? Do you have any children? Yes, I have three. Have you been able to keep in contact with them lately? I was uh, able to kind of stay in touch pretty good, but being homeless, uh, I, like, I was sitting on a bench like this, and I think my phone like fell out back behind it and stuff like that, and uh, I just talked to. You know, my ex-wife, uh, like that day or something, you know, I just sat it down and dumbass Danny, you know, and thing rolls down. Uh, I had her phone number and, you know, I written down, even though somebody took my telephone uh, and I kept trying to call it, but it said, it, it took me such a long period of time to come up with another telephone that by, when I started calling, it said, this phone's been disconnected, there is no longer in service, and you know, I'm going, what? I can't, mm, I can't so I can't get in touch with them. Now, that's extremely distressing to me. So where do you stay? Right now? <clears throat> Alley right over there. Over there. No, if I uh, ended up on the street, I would probably, I was thinking, go to the psych ward, tell them that I wanted to kill myself, or cut the voices out of my head, or just some crazy shit to get in and get that SSI. You know, couldn't you just do something like that? Or Danny, I've been there. Or even prison. Go in for a little I, bit. I have literally begged the police to to lock me up, beg them, you know, please lock me up, because they knew, you know, I told them, I recently I went through Austin Recovery, I detoxed out, you know, and went to, uh, I spent, okay, a total of seven weeks in Austin Recovery, I went to Shoal Creek first, and detoxed out for a week, you know, they kept me uh, drugged and stuff, so I didn't just, you know, go nutty. That kind of thing, and I went directly from there into Austin Recovery, uh, and I spent okay. That program was supposed to be 28 days, and I said, "Man, I, I ain't ready." And I asked for an extension, and they gave me another two weeks. So I spent just, two weeks there, and it was just um, so okay. Go back to when you try to do the uh, the psych ward. Okay. Um, at Ash, Austin State Hospital, uh, I uh, tried to commit suicide and, uh, because, I mean, I had a wonderful job uh, and I went in with uh, vodka on my breath and they said, Danny, we love you, man, but we can't, you know, this is an awesome place in Steinway, you know. Uh, down with the piano. You know. Oh, up there on 183? Yes, sir. Yeah. And I, I mean, I worked for them for 20 odd years and stuff. Uh, but we can't, we can't have you coming in like this. And I, I just kind of 
said. I understand. And, uh, I was living at uh, Crestwood Suites, which was, I don't know, it was 550, 600 bucks a month, something like that. And I just, I saw no way out, you know, anymore. And so I thought, that's, that's it. I'm, I'm toast. And, uh, I drank some uh, material, it's a, what's called a padding lacquer, uh, you know, meant to do touch-ups on furniture, and, uh, <laughs> it's, you know, just denatured alcohol, oh boy did I get a buzz on that one, <laughs> of course I shit all over myself, and peed all over the bed and everything else, you know, and cut my wrist. You cut yours, you drank that and somebody found you? Yeah, they came up. They're like, whoa. Yeah. How long ago was that? Oh, that's been. I don't know. At least two years. And so now you're in the process of getting mental disability. I mean, if somebody drinks well, that shit and tries to kill themselves, wouldn't that say to the state or the government? This person That's how needs help. That Danny is how it was filed. Uh, MHMR helped me do that, and you know, filed it and everything. The first time I ever tried or anything, you know, because and, uh, and who's that? MHMR. Mental health, mental retardation. And that's what the state it's, of Texas. It's kind of changed a little bit there. What, what it is? Yes, sir. Uh, and. Uh, so they help me, you know, they filed, you know, fill it in on the computer and, you know, fax it off and everything. And they said, we will help you appeal it twice uh, now. But they, you know, I, I was talking about my leg and she said, no, physical disability is extremely hard in our society to be uh, accepted for, you know. So what we're gonna do is run with your... Uh, so at this point... You're kind of waiting? How, yeah, you're kind of waiting. How would you describe your level of desperation? I reached the point I'm trying to drink myself to death. That's it. That's the truth. May I look in the camera? Uh, I'm fine. trying to drink myself to death. Because I see no way. And the church over here is lovely. They, uh, Danny, we don't want you to die, man. You, there's, you know, God, you come in, you play piano, and you sing songs, and everybody loves you and shit. But won't. Can you go in and play piano whenever you want? Just 9 for 30 in the morning, it opens up, and about 2 in the afternoon, it shuts down. Twenty feet frame. I see. Well, say uh, say uh, say hi to Live Leak, and we'll uh, we'll we'll sign off. To who? It's called LiveLeak.com. Say hi. Live thank you so much for taking the time to talk with. Me. My name is Danny King, K I N G, and uh, I, I hope anything I've told you will give you some impetus to uh, keep on trucking.